Welcome back guys. My name is Jasmine. I am a nail tech at Indigo Nail Spa. If you watched my last video, I just showed you how to remove your gel and dip manicures from home. And now you may be wondering, what do I do now? So I wanted to just come on quickly and do a video on how to do an easy and basic manicure from home. This will just ensure that your nails stay healthy and strong while we are still all quarantined. Uh, and just make sure that your nails last until you can get back in to see us. So I'm just gonna start this video out the same way I started my last one and just go over a list of things that you will need. So I have some cuticle oil, I have a wooden cuticle pusher, I also have my metal cuticle pusher. Uh, that's just personal preference, whichever one you wanted to use. I do have a nail file, a nail buffer, some lint-free wipes, you can use cotton. Um, I have a bottle of alcohol, um, some cuticle remover or softener, and then just a bottle of lotion. And that's pretty much the basics of what you'll need. Let's get started. Okay, so I just washed my hands. You always wanna start with a clean surface. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab my cuticle away, uh, which is my cuticle softener, and I'm just, ooh, that's a little too much. Just gonna do a little dab on each nail. Comes out quickly, apparently. All right, and then I'm gonna take this guy and just rub it around the outside of the nail. Make sure I get everything coated. And with this, you're gonna wanna let it sit for probably two minutes and let it um, just soften everything up and do what it's supposed to. All right, so I've got those five coated and we're gonna come back in just a few minutes. So this has been sitting for a few minutes, so now I'm just gonna take my cuticle pusher and I'm just gonna gently push any of that sticky dead skin that's stuck onto the nail plate and I'm just gonna push that up and you can do circular motions with it and that's going to help remove it. And I am doing this very gently. You don't wanna hurt yourself, you don't wanna cut yourself. I'm just gonna do that for all five. And what this is doing is cleaning the nail bed itself. It just makes your nails look fresher, more polished, and makes them look like you took care of them, honestly. And sometimes you will get a little stubborn spot like that one. And if that's the case, you can dab a little bit more cuticle softener on there and just let it sit and penetrate for another minute or two and come back to it. Pushing back your cuticles on a regular basis will also help ensure uh, that you do not get as many um, hangnails. So if you are a frequent uh, person who gets hangnails quite often, try pushing back your cuticles. also going to help wipe off any leftover dead skin. There we go, looking better already. So once I'm done with that, uh, my nails are not really all one length, so I'm actually just going to take some um, little nail clippers and I'm gonna cut them down And then we will go into filing and shaping them up.
slightly shape them up. you want to make sure that you are taking each stroke and going in one direction you don't want to saw back and forth that's just going to split your nail and it's going to weaken your nail your nail is actually cross threaded um, and if you kind of hack away at them and saw back and forth you're just going to split the nail you're going to fray it it's not going to look good and it's going to weaken the strength of your nail. Now you can come and go in two different directions, you know, one this way, one that way, that's fine. this little pointier end. I'm going to clean up any dirt and debris that might be stuck under my nail bed. And I actually have eczema um, on my hands and on my fingers especially. So if you see up front there where my um, tips of my fingers just look like they're pretty dry, it is just eczema. And you'll see at the end of the video, I really focus on hydration and that's what's going to help clear yeah, that up. But don't get you know worried short, or anything. Your fingers per, won't look like that. That is just my eczema. I can't talk today. Um, so there's not going to be too much stuff stuck under there. So there's that. Next thing I'm going to, oh, right across the camera. Next thing is I'm just going to take a, another clean lint wipe, get a little bit of alcohol on that. And I'm just going to wipe off. This is gonna clean off that earlier product that we will, were using. It's also going to clear off any filing dust that may be on there from filing the nails. Next up, I'm going to take my black buffer. I'm just going to lightly buff these. And I'm going to go right under the nail as well.
Okay, so now I'm just taking some alcohol on that clean wipe and I'm going to clean off all of the dust and filings from buffing. And now I'm going to take some cuticle oil and put that on. Just one drop on each uh, finger is really all you need. And you'll just see me rubbing it in in just a second. And this just helps nourish um, all of the skin around your nail and the nail bed itself. And you'll see I actually push it right up underneath the nail as well on the free edge and make sure that all of that skin is nicely hydrated. So then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to pick up my lotion. One squirt of that rub that all in and I do take that and do the same thing that I did with the cuticle oil where I completely massage that into the tips of my fingers and all around my cuticle area just to make sure that all of that skin is nice and soft and well hydrated and that's the finished look All right, guys, there you have it. That is a quick and easy at-home manicure. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped you. And just keep an eye out. We might have a few more videos coming. Have a great day.